Right, welcome back, Microbytes. Um, this session we are going to be creating a way of spawning enemies, uh, which is always good fun. Okay, so what I want you to do is, if you haven't already, um, just create your your standard setup um, blocks here. So set tile map, uh, set a sprite character for yourself, camera spot, follow sprite, and move the sprite with the buttons. Don't worry about the points. Um, if you've joined us from the point system video, um, you can just add on to that. We're using uh, a lot of the same blocks actually, um, which is very good. Um, but if not, don't worry. Um, I'll put a link up uh, in the top corner there, so you can um, rewatch the point system if you if you want to do that um, if you haven't done so already. Um, right. So what I did is in our tile map here, um, the yellow blocks um, were a um, for our coins, um, and what I've done is I've added in red blocks. So I've added in red blocks, um, and these are going to be where our enemies are sp uh, enemies spawn. So if you haven't done so, you can do that now. Right, what you're going to do is you're going to go into functions. You're going to make a new function, and it is going to be called spawn enemies. Right, and it's going to look very much like our point function block over here. Um, so you're going to, ah, and before I forget, I did this last time and I completely forgot and I wondered what was going wrong, uh, we'll make sure we add in cool spawn enemies here, um, so then that way it shows up on the screen, otherwise it won't show up. Um, so enemies, we're going to need a four element block. Element. And... We'll also just jump into scene and we need to grab a ray of all that's what we need and you're going to pop that on the list over top of list there drop that in there and you're going to tell it to do it for every red square so for the points over here it was for every yellow square and for the enemies we're doing it for every red square right so we're going to need a sprite Oops. And you can choose whatever you like, or make your own, even better. Um, I'm, for now, just going to use this ghosty looking character here. He can be my enemy. Um, so I need to give him a name. He is Enemy1. Um, just in case we create more than one enemy. Oops. Uh, course because I created it before so it's still on my list. There it is. Uh, and of course he is an enemy. Right. Uh, we need play. So in scene we need a tile called place my sprite on top of. So you're gonna grab this block out of here, place my sprite on top of and again um, the word value here, so what, what it's saying is that every value is essentially red blocks, uh, the value. Um, so we're going to say on top of value, so that essentially means on top of all the red blocks. Um, and oh, it says my sprite, so we'll make sure it says enemy 1. So enemy 1 is on top of all the on top of all the red blocks, you can see over on my screen over here, all the enemies are on top of the red blocks. And we need to um, say we want to get rid of the red, so we're going to from down here, we're going to say set a set. Um, that are all on the path, so I can tell it to be path, and again, value. So everywhere there's a red block, I want you to make it look like the path. So now it appears that the uh, ghosts are sitting on the path, 
um, but as you saw in the tile map it's actually a red block it's just that I've hidden the red block there um, cool so now if I have a wander around on the screen we can see the enemies I can still collect coins however they don't move and they don't hurt me so we need to deal with that right I am going to make this a second part so I will see you very shortly uh, click on the link and that will send you to uh, part two Bye.